supporting the move to a graduated income tax appear to have, appear to have conceded this morning. WGN's Eric Rung can get that out of his mouth better than I did, and he joins us from the Thompson Center with more. Hi, Eric. Well, good morning. The Vote Yes campaign just sent out a statement this morning saying that they are disappointed in last night's outcome. But they also say those who work to defeat this amendment now have to come up with a plan to help fix the state's finances. With some outstanding mail-in ballots still needed to be counted, it appears Illinois is going to stick with the flat income tax. About 500,000 votes separated the yeses and noes. A yes vote would have meant a move from the flat income tax of nearly 5% to a graduated income tax structure that would allow lawmakers to tax higher income earners at a higher tax rate. It's just never fair. Uh, that a middle class worker is paying the same tax rate as a billionaire, no matter how many excuses you try to give for it. It's billionaires who poured money into the campaign. The governor heavily bankrolling the vote yes side, while hedge fund owner Ken Griffin heavily funded the vote no campaign. This amendment will give Springfield unyielding power to change the tax rates and set brackets, change brackets, raise brackets, lower brackets, whenever they want. The legislature already has this power, just not the power to tax higher income brackets at a higher rate. The Vote Yes campaign complained those who opposed the measure relied on misinformation to sway voters. In a statement, the coalition to stop the proposed tax hike amendment said, when all the votes are counted, we believe there will be more no votes than yes votes, and that will be a win for small business owners, middle class families, family farmers, retirees, and large employers. Springfield was counting on the amendment to help fill the massive budget hole. Now the vote yes for the fairness campaign says those who work to defeat the amendment must now answer for whatever comes next. And the lieutenant governor said all not that long ago that if this amendment did fail, it could mean a 20% increase across the board in taxes. Now opponents called that a scare tactic. Now we'll wait and see. We are live at the Thompson Center. I'm Eric Rung, WGN News.